Hey guys, welcome to my quick tip series, my first 4K videos, you'll see why we use 4K in a second. So this is based on my basic tutorial workflow uh, when it comes to using RG3 nodes to do this type of bus to keep things clean, drop context and having bookmarks to things like fast muter. If you're interested in that, I have a separate video on the topic. What we're looking at today specifically is what's going on in the background. You can see something's running. Ooh, exciting. And I'm on a 4090, so you can see this is pretty slow. What is it? Well, it's nothing else but LDSR upscale. This is by a creator called Floaty1. He's got a GitHub repo I encourage you to check out. He's released that uh, last month. I was very excited when it came out. And I'll tell you why. Because when you're looking at upscalers, this is going to offend a lot of people. So cover your ears if you're easily offended. But the reality is that upscale via a latent space, in my opinion, always, always messes up the image. You know, take for example, the work that I've done here by using a second upscaler, a Gaussian mix, it comes up really well, in my opinion, it does insert things. And if you look at the comparison, you can see that our little alien here has a lot of teeth suddenly and they don't look too good. Honestly, they don't. Okay. But again, like I said, in all my videos, this is a numbers game. So for those that can't afford tools like Topaz, I swear by Topaz. And I think it's great because you get previews of things. It, it, the quality is out there. It's got subject detection, face restore. It's got all the stuff we have in Confi, but you know, it's proprietary. They got some magic sauce in there. That's why you pay $200 or $300. It's quite expensive, but it's really good. But let's imagine you didn't want to want to spend the $300 and you didn't want to add another case sampler because you're already upset that your alien has teeth. Well, what do you do? Well, you use LDSR and what's the advantage of LDSR? Well, in my opinion, by far the best quality upscale you can get bar none. There is nothing that beats it. If you know something superior, I want to know because I haven't found it. The downside of LDSR, you're noticing this. It's seven minutes for a 1024 by 1024 is the Excel latent to get to whatever resolution is going to push it at. Now, of course, I've set it to default setting. So I'm, and I'm using length. So, so of course it's going to be slow, but honestly, if you're serious about image generation and you're serious about creating images for production, you, you're not going to get away with, you know, tiny stamp size JPEG files, right? You need some proper pings at something like 4K res minimum. So let's look at the output. We're going to wait for it to finish and I'm going to show you. This is what it looks like when it runs. Ignores the error. The errors are from my previous uh, test workflows that I'm using to create tutorials. But yes, uh, it's been running now for six, seven minutes. So yeah, it's slow, but it's worth it. So it's also uh, RAM intensive. I, I did manage to run it on eight gig of VRAM, but to really let it lose, as you can see here, uh, it needs that 16 gig RAM minimum. And because I'm using Windows 11, unfortunately the browser and things like that take a little bit extra uh, piece of GPU memory. And I don't want to disable hardware acceleration on my browser and other apps. So I'm just sucking it up and hoping that, that I'll never reach the 24 gig threshold. Okay, it's finished. Uh, honestly, I'm blown away by the quality of this tool. Uh, I know that on YouTube, it's going to be really hard to see because uh, if you do a simple uh, bicubic upscale like it's doing in real time right now, uh, probably using my graphics card to do so uh, in the previewer, you won't notice a major difference. But I can assure you that this is as good as it gets in terms of upscale. Uh, we can go and observe all the details, the second eyelid here, and we can start noticing elements that we wouldn't have otherwise noticed in our image. So I'm using an alien subject because I like alien. I work for them, as you know, uh, and we're also noticing some slight chromatic aberration here uh, that we otherwise wouldn't notice. So in my opinion, if you're serious about working with Confi, you must use LDSR to upscale your images. And that's when you're going to find tiny issue that you're going to need to go in Photoshop. Of course, the image needs to be improved using a tool like Creed APS, uh, Luminar, whatever you guys are using. Anyway, that was LDSR. I hope this was somehow useful to you guys. Plus side, it's the best downside. It's the slowest way of doing things, but I swear by it.